Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,252. And if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,251 to 1,253 and follow along, click on the link below the video. And last video, Excel Magic Trick 1251, we had this Excel table feature to track invoice data. And all we did is we on a new sheet, we did some ifs with the table formula nomenclature to add for each invoice number. The only problem is we had to go and create this list of invoice numbers. So in this video, 1252, we have the same table. We're simply going to use Power Query. And with a few clicks, it'll get a unique list of invoice numbers and add all of the balances. Now, you have to download Power Query in Excel 2013 and 10. In 2016, it's actually on the data ribbon in the Get and Transform. Either version, whatever version you have, this will work the same. Now, our table is already an Excel table feature. And that's important, not the name part of it, but the fact that it is a table. Because in order to get something into Power Query, it has to be a table if it's in Excel. So now here's Power Query. I'm going to go Excel data from table. And sure enough, it brought it all in. Now I'm going to come over here and name this query Total Balance and Enter. Now we're only interested in invoice number and balance over here. So watch this. I'm going to click on invoice number. Then I'm going to hold the Control key to highlight columns not next to each other by clicking on that balance. So they're both highlighted. Now I can simply either one of the columns, right click, remove other columns. And watch this. I'm going to click invoice number, transform, and group by is like doing some ifs. Or in Access, they have group bys. I simply want to group by invoice number, the new column name. I'm going to give it the same column name. Total balance, but I'm going to have a space. Operation is sum, and which column has the operation? Balance. Instantly, when I click OK, there's my unique list. There's my total. Now I'm going to go to Home, Close, and Load to Table. And I definitely want it on a new worksheet when I click Load. Here's my sheet over here. I'm going to actually drag it, double click it, call this invoice balances, and enter. And there it is. And what's so amazing about this is it's dynamic. If I go over to my Excel table feature, our database for storing this invoice data, and type a new record, the invoice balances will update. Now remember, for a new record, we simply type a date. So this is 1 slash 8. And this is a table. So when I hit Tab, it carries all that formatting forward and creates a new record. Now I'm just going to type this out. So I've created this. We bought a Makita Orbital Sander GV5000. There's the amount owed, the amount paid, and there's the balance. Now let's go over to Invoice Balances. And it's not like a formula, you have to refresh it. But we can simply come over and right click Refresh. And you've got to be kidding me. Look at that, that new invoice. And if any of these other ones had changed, they would have totally updated. All right, so in this video, we saw how to use the awesome Power Query Group By feature to create a unique list of invoices and the totals. All right, we'll see you next video.